Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Got another Friday night college football game here. Good one, too. Pac-12. Uh, Utah's on the road in Corvallis to play Oregon State. Lines Oregon State minus three. It was at three and a half very briefly. It's sitting at three in basically all sports books now. Total sitting at 55 and a half. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. Source. get the sauce so early action came in all over oregon state and the money's definitely still heavy on the beavers here public's a little closer to split even in fact it's slightly leaning utah so we got the public around 50 50 sharp seemed to like oregon state update so after i recorded this this line actually moved to three and a half so it's actually oregon state minus three and a half now so let's start with some head-to-head -head matchup history uh utah's dominated in recent years they're six and one in their last seven against oregon state but they did lose in 2021 which was their last trip to corvallis so let's talk utah for a second they're off to a great start sitting at a perfect 4-0 mostly on the back of their defense uh beta rank has utah's defense ranked number one in the entire fbs first against the rush sixth against the pass utah's defense is humming right now and what makes it even more impressive look at who they've played Utah's played three offenses ranked in the top 42, and they're still allowing just 9.5 points per game. Absolutely nuts. Nobody's moving the ball on this Utes defense right now. That being said, we do have to mention that traveling to Corvallis is definitely going to be their toughest test yet. Uh, Beaver offense looks good this year. They're ranked 10th in the FBS, third highest rated rushing attack in the country. Uh, so you got the number one run defense against the number three rushing attack uh, analytically. But I do have some questions about DJU at quarterback. I mean, through the first two games, he was looking like the man. Uh, but the numbers from his last two games, dramatically worse. Completion percentage drops from 72.7 to 48.4 in his last two games. Yards per attempt down, touchdown interception down, everything down, pass rating, everything. And if you take a look at Oregon State's schedule, it starts to make sense. The first two weeks, they played San Jose State and an FCS program. Weeks three and four, Beavers start seeing some decent defenses in San Diego State and Washington State. And now we start to see DJU struggle a bit. Remember, we're talking about Utah's defense here, which is way better than San Diego State or Washington. Washington State. This could be a really rough spot for DJU. Oregon State better hope they can get the run game going in this one because I don't think the passing game is going to be there. On the other side, we've got the Utah offense and obviously the big questions at quarterback, right? Cam Rising, Utah star quarterback, yet to play a single snap this entire season. He's got 5,500 yards, uh, 64 touchdowns through two seasons as a starter at Utah. And this is a problem. I know Utah's sitting at 4-0, but like I said, that's all the defense because uh, the Utah's offense really hasn't been great. It's been extremely one-dimensional. They're ranked 36th overall offensively, ninth in effective rush, all the way back at 97th in effective pass. This team does not have a passing attack right now with no cam rising. Last week, Utah had a home game against UCLA. Now, UCLA's defense this year is actually a lot better than it was last year, but still, at home, 219 total yards, 14 points, 3.37 yards per play at home against UCLA. That's unacceptable. They won the game 14-7. So again, all the credit belongs to their defense. Offense wasn't good at all. Utah offense was also held to just 20 points by Baylor. Baylor's defense is ranked 80th in the FBS. I mean, this Utah offense without Cam rising at quarterback looks really bad against not great defenses. Never has Utah needed Cam rising on the field more than right now. They're going on the road into Corvallis. The Beavers defense is an absolute problem. They're ranked 11th in the FBS, second against the run, second, 32nd against the pass. So to reiterate, we're seeing the first and second highest rated run defenses in the country in this game, and both offenses extremely relying on the run right now with questionable passing attacks. So do I need to say anything else? Under. It's at 45. Give me the under. I'm probably playing the under either way, but if Cam Rising doesn't play, I'm definitely hammering the under. Real quick, let's run through some betting trends, and I got positive ones on both sides here. Uh, Utah, 15-5 and five against the spread as Road Dogs since 2013. 41 and 22 against the spread versus the Pac-12 since 2016. 21 and 12 against the spread off a straight up win since 2019. But I got some nice looking trends for Oregon State as well. First of all, 10 and 1 against the spread as home favorite since 2018. 10 and 1. Uh, 7 and 2 against the spread versus the Pac-12 last season. 22, 12 and 1 against the spread versus the Pac-12 since 2019. So positive trends on both sides. As far as betting aside, so. Obviously, I want to hear the status of Cam Rising and Brant Keithy. That's their tight end. He hasn't played a snap yet uh, this year either. 
I already grabbed Utah at plus three and I sent it to the Discord. My thinking was if Cam Rising and Keithy are announced that they're going to play, this line's going to drop. So I grabbed Utah at plus three. Now, worst case scenario, if they don't play, I still like my bet at Utah plus three. So a little bit of risk involved there. So obviously I was wrong there. I was not expecting this line to move to three and a half. Uh, definitely lost a half point of value. Uh, I still like Utah. I'm a little scared at the line movement. It makes me think Cam Rising's not going to play, even though he's practicing. You know what? He was practicing last week as well. So we're going to have to wait this one out because there's just too many question marks, too many big injury question marks. If you want my top bets, parlays of the day, uh, if you want to join the Discord or you want to get on the NFL against the spread competition, uh, head over to kylecrums.com. All the information is right there on the website, right on the homepage. College football week five. Got a nice little loaded Friday night here. Four FBS games. This should be fun. Uh, remember to bet responsibly. Talk to you in the Discord.